To Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today, I want to share with you an attendance tracker. This file will allow you to track your students, your employees. Perhaps you're running a summer camp and you want to see which which uh, which of your campers are uh, been here or not. So it's a very simple file, but actually very tricky and nice. So there are 12 sheets, one for each month, as you can see, January, February, and March, etc. And for each sheet, you have the names of the people that you want to track. And there are four options. Uh, this is simulating a class or a student, let's say. They can be present, late, excused, or unexcused. And each day of the week, you need to mark them if they are here or not with a drop down list that you have okay and over here on the left you can see the summary for the month for each of them you can see the overall number for the entire class and you can see the percentages so how many were present how many were late etc etc uh, here you can see a, a check mark or a X, so X means that you're missing, um, missing uh, uh, someone's input, and checkbox means you're good to go. So here, if I flag those two, if I input the information, it immediately turns into a uh, checkbox or B. There's also you can see that two days here, the weekends are colored in, in gray. Um, but I built this so it's actually dynamic, so you can change which day uh, of the week to uh, show was gray, and I'll show you that in a second. So these are the individual months. There's a setup sheet where basically you define everything that needs to be set up for the other sheets. Here is where you key in the names. Here's, here's where you define what year you want to track the options and the short so you can change the names here so instead of present this could be let's say on time and I want to use T um, this is where you set up the um, gray um, columns so for now I just want to show Saturday Sunday is a day that I want to track and this is something you don't need to change. I'm just using that as a shortcut for the uh, month's breakdown. Um, and now if we go back to January, you see that only Saturday is showing as a gray column. And we immediately have a X for Sunday, which I didn't fill out. You also see that this is now called on time. And the short is T. So th that to be switched whatever we flagged as P can now be changed into uh, T so you see it's it's quite automatic so I'll bring it back to present in P uh, so there's four options of course you can build this if you have like more options but you just have to adjust everything um, and there's also a user guide here just to walk you through everything here so how is everything built so the setup there's nothing here uh, this is just the data. There's no formulas, no nothing complicated. Here there are a few tricks that I use to build this automatically. Um, so first of all, the, the names, as you see, it pulls information from here. So you can use uh, offset and, and you know special formulas, but I wanted to build it so it could work for any version of Excel. So if I add a name here, Joe, then it will immediately, Joe will appear here and all of the months since it's the same formula. So that's that's the nice part of this that you can really, you don't have to go month by month and change the names, you, you manage it from one location. Um, that's the first column. These columns, 
first of all I'm adding an if so if there's a, if there's a name here only then I use the formula and I'm using simple count if so I'm using count if for the short of the um, option which is the letter P so that's the same for all the four of these um, this is just a VLOOKUP of the full of the names and you see I'm connecting it to the setup that's why when I changed one that also changed automatically class total is a sum percentage is the sum divided by the sum of all four um, there is also this hidden uh, formula basically it counts the number of uh, people over here I need that for the X and um, uh, checkbox mark there's another hidden function here this function returns the name of the sheet in this case January and that's why sorry and that's why I have this small table to give me the number why because I want <coughs> to use that to build the date so you see I'm using the date function I'm using the year that I set up over here in setup sheet I'm using the number of month from the VLOOKUP of the name of the sheet and the number one so I have the first day of the month and everything else is just plus one okay this a uh, formula basically oh, another hidden formula sorry there's a yes here so this is where I'm checking if this should be a uh, gray uh, colored uh, column this is why I have this table over here so there's also a hidden cell so it returns a yes or blank so in this case it's a yes in this case it's just a zero so this if this is a, if this is a yes so I want this to be colored in gray I'm giving it assigning it a value of minus one otherwise I'm counting basically the number of values I have comparing it to the number of values I should have okay um, and we'll get the second to see how we build those two icons the Saturday <coughs> it's a simple text function uh, text the, the value and what do you want to see this little thing just makes sure that it's a US text because I also have a different language uh, sometimes it has a default this is a simple drop-down list coming from here okay so if you're not familiar with drop-down list data data validation list list okay in my case the name of the range list you see is coming from here so it's whatever you set up over here so it's all connected um, so these were the functions of so these are basically all the functions that we have now let's just take talk about the conditional formatting so first of all there's the conditional formatting for the entire columns so it depends on this cell if this cell is equal yes and I have a dollar sign on the line then just color the entire column with gray in this location I have a little bit more so if it's minus one then color it gray otherwise I have an icon set then you see why I needed a negative one if the number is greater than zero in my perspective um, that means that there's at least one person that is not registered then for, it should return an X and if it's zero plus minus zero because it's negative so give it a uh, plus a, a checkbox sign so this is so this is how uh, how it was uh, I built this file and um, let's have a short recap so 
different months, every tab has its own uh, view, its own uh, dates, okay, based on the name of the sheet. The names are coming from the setup. The setup is where you define the names, the year that you want to track, what are the options and their short um, abbreviation, which days are going to be colored in gray. And um, you can see every month, actually, uh, each person. So if you enjoyed the, the video, please um, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you next time.